I'm at the Engineering Technology Group today. I've come to meet with Steve Brown, who's going to talk to me about the Hardinge GS150 CNC lathe. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Steve, this is the GS150 from Hardinge, available from ETG. I would hazard a guess that this is one of your most popular sellers. Would I be right? Yeah, it certainly is. So it's available as a two axis or a three axis. Um, so again, obviously with its footprint and, 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 and compactness, then certainly is a, a biggest seller. Well, that would probably be my first point. It's right. quite a small machine. Yeah. Uh, am I restricted in what I can manufacture with this? Certainly not, Paul, no. <laughs> Maximum turning diameter of 284 mil. Over 10 inch Over billets. 10 inch, yes. So, so obviously with its compactness, um, but it's got a big, large working envelope. Now, as I see the machine here, that's a, that's a VDI turret, correct? Yes. There's no driven tools on this, though, but can it come with driven tools? It can come with driven tools, so that's a VDI uh, block turret. Um, we also do a block turret version, where the tools obviously go direct, so for, for your hard turning capabilities. What, what is the difference, out of interest, a VDI to a block turret? What would you say, that, where, where would each one fit? So, the rigidity of a block turret is renowned because the tools, there's no interface between the tool and the turret. So all the tools go direct into the turret itself, and then it's capable of hard turning. But VDI is a, is, a, is a turret that is ideal for this type of machine, but if you wanted to step up a different application, maybe harder materials... Yeah, it's, it's application dependent. A lot of customers out there have VDI, um, obviously for the quick changeover, re, re, repeatability of the, of the tool. OK, bar feed. If I was looking for a bar feed on this, what bar diameter could I turn? So through bore in here, we have 52 mil. Um, so again, this is the, this is the baby of, a, of, of the range, and we step all the way up to a, to a 250. So anything from 52 mil all the way up to 78 mil. Now, with a machine of this size, is it important how it's built? Certainly is, yeah. So obviously, hard is renowned for their super precision lathes. Um, so this machine, again, has taken the philosophy of, of a super precision, but obviously they've, they've, they've tailed it back and give a, a general precision lathe. Well, because I did see here that it's a, it's a one-piece bed. Yes. Okay, so that is a sort of 45, 30 degree bed? Yeah, sing single casting 30 degree bed. Um, obviously, there's no complications of interference between components. On the control, always FANUC? No, we've got Siemens and FANUC. So again, the FANUC, obviously, majority of the turning people out there prefer the FANUC range. Um, but obviously, we do offer the Siemens range because obviously, um, schools and colleges and universities like to take in that type of control. Choice is always good. With the FANUC, you've got the OI. Is that powerful enough to handle this machine on all levels? Yes, yeah, certainly is. Yeah. So the, the OI is, is, is denoted to the number of axes it's driven. So the only, need, the only reason to jump up, jump up for a high level of control if we're going for twin turrets or twin spindles. Now, if I was doing bar feed work, I noticed we've got a tail stock in here. Is that programmable through the control, or is that not programmable? No, no, it's fully, fully programmable tail stock. Um, so again, obviously, for full, running in full production, the bar feed in, we have a parts catcher there that can obviously collect the part and drop it out into what we would, we would put a bin on the front of the machine. So, you, so if we were stepping up to a, a small production run, we can have a parts catcher. Can you have a parts conveyor, or just a yes, catcher? Yes, there's, there's a number of options on this machine. And basically, because it's our biggest seller, we have a range of um, options on it um, that we hold in stock. Because again, in the UK, everybody wants the machine yesterday. Yeah, well, I was going to come on to that because when I say this being your, probably one of your biggest selling lathes or turning centres, there's a lot of choice in the market. Yeah. Why this one? Hardinge name. Certainly. Simple as that. Simple as that. Okay, thanks, Steve. No problem. Cheers, Paul. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.